Once upon a time, a hippo thought he was an airplane. His parents would try and convince him that he wasn't an airplane, but Hippo would not listen. One day, Hippo decided that since he was an airplane, he needed a pilot. He spoke to his friend Penguin and asked him if he would be his pilot. Now, Penguin did not really believe that Hippo was an airplane, but he told himself, it is better to be the pilot of a Hippo than to be the pilot of nothing at all. Right away, Hippo and Penguin started to prepare for their first flight. They purchased peanuts for their passengers. They practiced safety procedures. And they even got a full tank of fuel. Everyone else in the forest was quite confused. At the end of the day, Hippo and Penguin started to walk home until they got to the lake and saw that the bridge had fallen down. Well, that's okay, said Hippo. We can fly across. But Hippo, said Penguin, you're a hippo. Why don't we just swim? I'm not a hippo, said Hippo. I'm an airplane. All right, said Penguin as he boarded Hippo. They cleared the runway, ran towards the lake, and took off. But they didn't make it. Hippo and Penguin fell into the lake. Everyone in the forest laughed at them. But it was okay, because Hippo and Penguin were a hippo and a penguin, so they swam across the lake. I don't know what went wrong, said Hippo, but then he had an idea. Penguin, did you turn your cell phone off? Penguin had not. I'm sorry, said Penguin. It's okay, said Hippo. Just remember for next time. At night, Hippo could not sleep. He knew he was an airplane, but no one believed him. The next morning, Hippo woke up and heard noises outside. All the animals in the forest were gathered around a tree and arguing with each other. What's the matter? Hippo asked Mr. Bear. Mrs. Porcupine's cat is stuck in the tree, and no one knows how to get it out. Giraffe couldn't get it. Kangaroo couldn't get it. Let me try, said Hippo. I'm an airplane. Of course, no one believed that Hippo was an airplane, but nothing else had worked. And he did have a pilot, so they might as well give him a try. Once again, Hippo and Penguin prepared for takeoff. Hippo started to run and took off into the air. Penguin and Hippo crashed into the tree. It split in half and fell to the ground. Next thing they knew, Hippo was sitting on the ground with Mrs. Porcupine's cat in his lap. Oh, thank you so much. You saved my cat, said Mrs. Porcupine. You're a very brave hippo. He's not a hippo, said Penguin. He's an airplane. All the animals cheered. Hippo might not have been an airplane, but he was definitely a hero. Thank you, said Hippo. I'd love to stay, but I'm late for my next flight. Goodbye, waved the animals. Goodbye, said Hippo. And then, with a flap of his arms, Hippo and Penguin took off into the air and flew into the sunset. Hippo was an airplane after all.